Bet my war hammer. We'll be back. We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Introducing Secret 12, the new InfoWars Life Vitamin B12 formulation. Most forms of vitamin B12 are highly processed and synthetic and cannot be properly absorbed by the body. That's why for real results, so many are having to turn to painful B12 injections, which are known to have higher absorption rates. Now, InfoWarsLife.com is excited to announce that we can bring you our most bioactive, powerful form of B12 that has been developed with our exclusive perfected process. Secret 12 is a binary of nutramedical grade, bioavailable coenzyme forms of B12, methylcobalamin, the same kind used in B12 injections, and adenosyl cobalamin. Secret 12 is simply taken by mouth, right on the tongue, and then swallowed. No needles, no injections. Don't take my word for it. Try it for yourself. Discover the secret. Secret 12. Secure your revolutionary Secret 12 formula right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. When you're out on the road, the last place you want to be is on the road. But if the unfortunate happens, you'll be glad you were wearing diamond gussets. There's a place down in Tennessee where they make blue diamond gusset jeans. They so pride in every stitch. Guarantee you love the way they fit. They put a diamond gusset in the crotch where you need it most. Blue diamond gussets got it. Others don't. We turn jeans inside out. Diamond gusset jeans. Made in the USA with unparalleled quality. Our Defender motorcycle jeans combine gusset comfort with Kevlar protection so you can ride all day with confidence. Order yours at gusset.com. Diamond gusset jeans got it. Others don't. Aging starts at the cellular level. When cells become toxic, they die early and aging sets in. In the past decade, we have witnessed unparalleled scientific discoveries. During that period, key patented compounds have focused on mitochondrial growth, nerve growth, and rejuvenation. But no one has put together a formula that focuses directly on brain health, nerve growth factors, and optimizing your cellular energy at the same time. We now have the synergistic solution, DNA Force, just one of the key compounds. BioPQQ is backed by major clinical studies and over 175 PubMed-listed published studies. You want the best that's out there at the lowest price anywhere? The ultimate value, cutting-edge, trailblazing game-changer that also supports the info. War. Secure your DNA force today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. DNA Force from InfoWars Life. He aligns himself with the truth, and it's time for you to choose a side. You're listening to Alex Jones. The That's the Beach Boys, one of my favorite songs, bringing us in. Let's listen for a moment. It never stops for you. You know, I should apologize. I shouldn't get upset by foreign mega banks. About 80% of the money, you can look it up. Of the banker bailout went to them. More than 80% of the foreign money coming in to pass Obamacare is by foreign banks owned by people that don't even live here to make you double and triple your insurance or make you get insurance. And we're only a year or two into this. They say the sky's the limit. They will raise it until we all go bankrupt. And the government gets to fine you and come after you and they get part of the money. And I apologize. Watching one of the best healthcare systems in the world be wrecked Watching a bunch of stupid welfare heads think they're about to get better health care when actually the free health care they've had is about to be taken away. Oh, they got lots of doctors in Cuba, but you don't get eye surgery, they give you a cane. They got lots of doctors in England, but when you need surgery for skin cancer, they're going to make you wait a year until you die in many cases. Oh, they got lots of doctors in Canada. 
But half the time, they're going to end up killing you in the government-run facilities. I mean, look it up. But this isn't even socialist health care. This is just a bunch of foreign interests coming in with, along with the traitorous government to wreck the entire system, to overthrow it, to bring in national health care administered by private interest with only three insurance companies when they're done running the whole show. And they're the big three that funded it. Oh, a lot of small and medium insurance companies fought it, just like the Texas Banking Association and other local banking associations around the country fought the Banking Reform Act. And the head of the Texas Banking Association wrote a big article four years ago. We read the whole thing on air. It was in the Texas Business Journal. I happened to see it republished in the Austin Business Journal. Saying this is a monopolistic conspiracy to shut down all the local banks that actually loan money. And then the big mega banks are going to are going to close their local branches and aren't going to give you loans because they don't need retail banking anymore. They just get given QE unlimited money and they want you to not have money. So you implode so they can buy up all your assets and property. They want a depression. So you better defeat this legislation. Well, guess what? They didn't defeat it. That's going through now. We're being conquered. We're being laid waste right now. We're being brought down right now. You understand that? Those aren't words. You are being robbed every paycheck now with the payroll tax going up. You're being robbed with all the hidden taxes and the regulations and the fines. You're being robbed because 2,000 major corporations were given total waivers to never get Obamacare. But your company has to, so you can't compete. You're getting laid off because people can't afford to hire you now. You're getting cut from full-time to part-time because of it. It would take me hours to go over this entire scam. And see, in the old days, Americans got upset about being pushed around or cheated. Nowadays, it seems we can only go out and get angry if it's racial. We can't even get mad when they try to ban Christianity and take down crosses everywhere. Americans just haven't remembered who they were. And we've lost our will to stand up for ourselves. We've lost our dignity. We've lost our fighting spirit. But it can be regained. And here's the message. There's no bottom to the pit. The sky's the limit of what these tyrants will do. Thomas Jefferson said it over and over again. The limit of tyranny you will live under. He was asked by a newspaper reporter. I'm paraphrasing his quote, but maybe we can Google it. Thomas Jefferson on the limits of tyranny. The limit of tyranny is exactly the amount you will put up with, you will accept. That is what governs the tyrant. I believe that's the exact quote. That is what governs the tyrant. They don't govern themselves. Hitler couldn't govern himself. He started attacking everybody. Declared war on England, war on the U.S., war on France, war on Czechoslovakia, war on Poland, war on the Soviets. War, 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 war. Because that's what people like him do. You get bad people in charge on power trips. They know no bounds. They run wild till they get stopped. And the globalists have jumped the shark over and over and over and over and over and over again. So I want to open the phones up specifically on this question. Phones are now open. I asked Obamacare supporters to call in after it became law last year, and we saw the increases start. And some actually called in and made fun of me and said that they were getting something free. Others were fake people calling in, acting like NPR zombies. But I want to open the phones up for people that it, has anybody had their premium lowered? I know of no one. I know of a few people that are already on welfare that went into the hospital and they called it Obamacare when they got the free Medicare or Medicaid that was always there. Now they just water down the quality. I want to hear from you. Are, I mean, are you upset with Gruber? Or am I still a conspiracy theorist telling you this was all in there? I want to hear from Obama supporters out there. I know you're listening. I know you exist. If you know, I've got, you've got an Obama phone in your hand 
or you're a fake bleeding heart, you know, liberal social worker. And because you're not a bad person yourself, you then project that onto the establishment and believe it's your mommy and you're under its little wings like a ducky, like a gosling. You're not under a loving mother goose's wings. I will assure you, stop being a moron schmuck. That's a great word. A chump. I want to hear from you. I'll try to be polite. Do you have the bravada? Do you have the will to call in here? I want to hear how I'm wrong. I want to hear how Jonathan Gruber didn't mean what he said. Look, here's the toll-free number, 800-259-9231, 800-259-9231. I'm going to say it slow because Obama listeners may not have ever called in. Obama supporters. We're on, a lot, we're on affiliates all over, big cities all over the country. Oklahoma City, Chicago, Austin, you know, Southern California, Kansas City. Just, I mean, we're on almost 180 affiliates. I know you're out there listening. Call in. I hear you bashing me on other shows I randomly tune into. I'm like the byword to call in and go, Obamacare's not that bad. What are you, a black helicopter tinfoil hat wearer like Alex Jones? 800-259-9231. I'm going to get into Russia, get a quick update in Ferguson. We'll have a full report at 1.30 from Jakari Jackson there and Joe Biggs. We're going to get like a quick couple-minute report right now. Then I'll get into Russia and then take your phone calls. 800-259-9231. Let's go ahead and see what Jakari Jackson has to say on the ground in Ferguson. Jakari, still any word on when we're going to get this verdict? I know you're right in front of the courthouse. Uh, no, we have no word as of yet. Uh, we were checking the streets last night. We were in Ferguson as well as, well as Clayton, and uh, the streets were pretty quiet. We actually had more media out there than any other people. It's pretty cold. I think the temperatures are keeping people at bay, but we've seen Governor Nixon. He's making the moves. I'm pretty sure he's getting uh, everything in position to announce the, uh, to have the verdict announce he wants to mobilize the National Guard. We haven't seen them on the streets as of yet. Uh, not much police presence, at least not a visible police presence as of yet. Well, they don't want to probably on the surface be provocative or seen as provocateurs. Just like we caught the feds mashing and even CNN's reporting, they fired the guy that shot the video of that and took the photos. Just outrageous tyranny. But you can better believe, Jakari, if you go to the National Guard armories and check, I'll bet my bottom dollar they're, they're waiting right now. And that, that you can find groups of state police and others quietly masked if they're about to announce the verdict. But uh, so are you saying it's going to be today or tomorrow? I mean, is that the feeling? Well, you know, they keep uh, stringing us along because we heard a lot of people say over the weekend it was going to be Monday and now it's Tuesday and uh, we still don't have any official word as to when it's going to come out. Well, the cold weather, I think, will keep a lot of people off the street. I'm all for the First Amendment and demonstrating, but this is definitely a psyop and needs to be de-escalated, in my view. Uh, I, I mean, I think they should just go ahead and announce it, don't you think, Jakari? Yeah, I think it would be a good thing just to go ahead and get it out the way, especially, you know, they have the cold temperatures on their side. It's supposed to warm up slightly throughout the week. So if they want to keep the, uh, the the street presence to a minimum, this would be the ideal time. Anything else you want to add? We'll get a full detailed report from Biggs and you at the bottom of the third hour. Well, speaking about uh, Governor Nixon, uh, he was asked by a reporter yesterday during a, a teleconference, you know, who exactly was in charge of the operation because he had previously come out and stated during his uh, state of address, his, uh, his uh, document there, the state of emergency rather, that uh, the Ferguson, the, the St. Louis County Police Department would be running the ground operations in Ferguson. But when he was asked by a reporter who was going to be running pretty much the whole shebang, he kind of stuttered and mumbled and uh, didn't really want to answer the question, which I thought was very interesting because I thought it's pretty cut and dry in the, uh, the document that he gave out earlier. But when he was asked that specific question, and it's a great question by whoever uh, asked that, that, that journalist, uh, he couldn't really answer exactly who was running the ground operations. So I thought that was very curious. And I'm curious to see what's going to happen because we have seen a, a DHS presence here in the St. Louis area. That's actually uh, while we're out here right now, we're uh, downtown St. Louis. Uh, Joe Biggs got a tip that there are some DHS vehicles around here in one of the parking garages. Uh, it's uh, pretty much a shot in the dark. We've looked at a few already, but there's plenty of parking garages. All right. Well, that's the capital behind you. Keep inspecting, Jakari, and we'll get a full report from you at the bottom of the hour. We have the audio of the governor. It's a question the London Guardian asked him, but he just bumbles so bad it's almost unintelligible. Clearly, he doesn't want to get the blame if things go wrong. 
And he doesn't want folks to know that DHS is pretty much calling the shots. And when things go wrong, DHS will end up trying to blame the state. So uh, maybe that's...